Tooele County man saw something in space this week that really caught his attention. New specialist Alex Cabrero is live at the Stansbury Park Observatory tonight. And Alex, he's now actually getting credit for this heavenly discovery. Right, Dean. You know, this is a really big deal for those who use observatories like this one, as well as regular telescopes looking for supernovas. Now, supernovas are stars that get really bright because of a sudden explosion. Well, this latest one was so bright, Patrick Wiggins knew he needed to rush if he wanted credit for its discovery. As most people are heading home after a long day at work, <laughs> Patrick Wiggins is just starting. Literally, we can move it this way. He spends most nights at his Tooele County home or this Stansbury Park Observatory. And of course, this is visual observing. Looking up to see if anything has changed. You got to be dedicated. And you, maybe it helps to not have much of a life. <laughs> and while most nights are basically the same. You shoot pictures of the same galaxies night after night after night. On this night, Wiggins saw something Different. Well, the galaxy, NGC 5631, I love how they give these names, but uh, I'd taken pictures of it before, and it was always the same thing. But this one particular night, a couple of nights ago, here's the smudge with a little dot next to it. This is that glowing smudge of a galaxy he was looking at, but just to the top right of it is an even smaller white dot. So I waited, nah, 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 nah. took another picture, still there. Hadn't moved. That's a supernova. Wiggins was pretty sure he discovered. No one else has seen this. He filled out a report, sent it to the professionals who track this stuff, and sure enough, Wiggins saw it first, 80 million light years away. What do you get for it? Interview on Channel 5. <laughs> Wiggins admits supernovas are discovered all the time, but at a time when there is so much interest in space exploration... You would not want to look at the sun, obviously. He feels it's part of something that connects us all. There's so much bad going on in the world, you got to kind of cling to these little slivers of good that happen now and then. Not my supernova, but the people coming together for space. <laughs> Now, the official name for the supernova is SN2022AAIQ. Wiggins doesn't get to actually name the supernova, but he says it's something that he would like to do in the future. If somebody does look it up, it will have his name attached to it. He also says this isn't his first discovery. He's made eight supernova discoveries, and Mike Nini, there is no doubt he's probably already looking for his next one. Oh, he, he's definitely left his mark on Utah. Oh, yeah. Now he's left his mark on the universe. <laughs> <laughs>